Hey, you guys, it's Marcel here. So um, I wanted to talk about something that we're going to touch on a little bit on, actually a lot on, on our team call tonight. But it's something that I want to put into your mind and um, have you kind of evaluate yourself a little bit. Um, I know that a lot of you are your business builders and you want to build your dream team, right? And there's times where we get really frustrated with that. We feel like we can't quite reach people or maybe we're not branding ourselves properly or whatever that is. I think that's a struggle for a lot of coaches and that's um, just a few things that I want you to be able to ask yourself. So um, as you know, um, social media is huge in this business. I built my business probably 95% on Facebook. A um, little bit of Instagram, but honestly, the bulk of it has been Facebook. Um, so whatever social media platform that you are getting the best results from and that you feel the most comfortable with, um, I encourage you to go through this, um, this list that I'm going to give you, these questions, and evaluate your profile and see if what you're putting out there is really what people are looking for and what you are trying to do. If your goal is to build a dream team, are you making that obvious to the rest of the world? Or are you hoping that people are just going to get it and come to you? Um, it's kind of a work smarter, not harder sort of thing and trying to brand yourself in the best way possible. So you can attract those coaches. Okay. So um, one of the first things is go through your profile and ask yourself, is it obvious that you are a health and fitness coach? I mean, if you go through your news feed or your Instagram profile or your Pinterest page or whatever it is, is it obvious that you are a coach? Do you just have shared articles from other pages? Do you have funny pictures? Um, is it just random pictures throughout your life? Um, is there something that ties it together that shows that you are a coach? Um, are you sharing healthy recipes? Are you posting pictures of your workouts? Are you talking about your workouts? Are you talking about your journey? Are you sharing, you know, your business, um, on social media? Because that's a huge thing that I think people forget to do is they might be doing those sort of things. You might be doing this at home. You might be drinking your Shakeology. You might be doing your workout. You might be thinking about your business or thinking about your workouts, but are you actually sharing that with the world? So scroll through. And if you can go through the last five to 10 posts and it's obvious that you can tell you are a coach and that you're living that lifestyle, um, then that's good. But if you're not, if you can take that objective view and, and if you couldn't understand what you do for a living as a coach, then maybe that's something you need to reevaluate and make sure that you are making a consistent effort to make sure that people know what you do and who you are. All right. Uh, question number two, um, do people know that you run online groups? I mean, I think some people think that maybe as coaches, we just post a lot of workout selfies or workout videos, but they don't know that that's actually our job. So is it obvious, again, go through your timeline, is it obvious that you are helping people? Are you sharing um, success stories and progress from people in your challenge groups? Um, are you posting before and after pictures? Even if they're not someone from your, um, your challenge group, you can find a ton of before and afters on the Beachbody, um, on your profile page, your Beachbody website. You can find a ton of before and afters, um, and then you can talk about your challenge group. You don't necessarily have to have it be pictures of people in your group. Um, don't make it misleading by any means, um, and don't make something up. But if you're talking about how proud you are of your challengers, and you're showing before and afters of your challengers, or you're talking about before and after from another, another challenge group. Um, even if you have um, coaches on this team that have really good success stories, ask them if you can use those pictures, if you can use those success stories. Um, and not just the success stories, but talking about what does it make you feel like to be able to run these online groups? What, how is it benefiting your life? How is it benefiting the people's lives in your group? Um, so it's important that people know that your job helps people and that you are showing that progress. Okay. Um, and the, the re another point on that is the reason why you do that is because when you do end up doing a, a challenge group ad or a call to action, people are going to make, you know, put two and two together and they're going to make sense of it. Like, Oh, so those results or that excitement she was talking about and her previous challenge group, that's what this group is all about. So it just helps people connect the dots a little bit. Um, question number three is, 
And this is a huge one. This is huge for um, recruitment. And this is how has Beachbody or your health and fitness business changed your life? And the reason why I say that is because I've said this from the beginning, you don't have to be a walking billboard for Beachbody. So how has your business, you as an entrepreneur starting this business changed your life? So that could be through beach body transformations of yourself, through your programs, through your nutrition, your Shakeology. But how has the business itself changed your life? And this is probably the most important aspect to think about and to evaluate on your profile page when it comes to recruiting coaches. Are you showing the lifestyle, whatever that may be for you? Are you showing how this business affects your life in a positive way? That could be something extremely small as in... Maybe you were able to, um, your paychecks now pay for your utilities at home. That might, might not seem like a huge deal to you, but I guarantee to a lot of people that's huge because that's one less thing that they have to worry about. Or is it paying for your car payment? Or is it allowing you to um, go out and buy your kids new school clothes without having to worry like maybe you did in the past? Or maybe you can go get your mani-pedi, you know, every other week and that's a nice treat that you have for yourself or maybe it's something much bigger maybe if if it's you know the way that it's affected me maybe you're able to quit your job i don't know whatever it has done to help you in your life if that's created more freedom for you if that's put less stress in your life even the smallest details you guys that's what people are going to be attracted to because i know for a fact that I've had people come to me and say, I love that you're able to travel more. The fact that I got to go to El Salvador and do Habitat for Humanity was huge because not only did it allow me to send myself there, um, but I didn't have a job here holding me back. I was able to hire someone to watch the kids for a week um, during the summer so I could actually do something that was huge on my bucket list. Now, if I had a nine to five or if I wasn't working at all, that probably wouldn't have been possible because I wouldn't have had that financial freedom to allow me to do that. And so it's those sort of things in my life that I share and that people respond to and they say, I want to do the things that you're doing, or I want to live, you know, in a way that, that you're starting to live. And you don't have to have a gigantic success story where maybe you paid off a hundred grand in debt in order to share how powerful this business can be in your life. It could be the smallest thing. It could be that you simply love the community that you're in, but I encourage you to aim a little higher and really share the details of how this business has affected you because that's going to take your recruiting numbers from either zero to two to three a month to probably 10 to 15 a month once you can share how the coaching opportunity is affecting your life, okay? Um, number four, last tip here is your audience, the people that are following you, friends, family, on your fitness page, whatever, they want to know that it's possible for them to do it as well. So you kind of have to dumb it down a little bit. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. But you kind of have to lay it out there in terms of the what you do and how they can do it too. And you don't have to be a um, personal trainer. You don't have to be a nutritionist. You just have to want to build a business. And that's it period. You have to want to build a business. You have to have that entrepreneurial spirit in order to do that. And they have to know that they can do that too. So talking about the simplicity of the job or talking about how, you know, your story and where you came from, and that's where the power of your story is so important because I think some people, if they don't know you, if they're on your fitness page, they may think that you have this intense um, professional background in order to do this, which a lot of us don't. I mean, I, you know, I was a stay-at-home mom slash real estate agent. I wasn't a doctor or a nutritionist or a trainer or anything of that sort, but I was able to, to build this business very simply. And so sharing those details with your, um, with the people on your page and, um, giving them kind of a, a consistent sneak peek into your life as a coach, instead of just, just saving that for your sneak peek group, like, Think of your posts as a small glimpse into what coaching is on a daily basis. So um, I encourage you to evaluate your, pre, your Facebook profile. And if you, can, if you see that you're doing all four of those things, then rock on, keep doing it. But if you see gaps in there and you're not doing those things, that's a huge um, puzzle piece missing from your business. And once you can focus on those things, 
um, once you can be really self-aware about um, how your business is affecting your life and how you're portraying that to the public, you're going to see um, growth in your business. So, all right, that kind of ties into what we're going to talk about a little bit more tonight on the team call, but um, that's my food for thought for today. All right, guys, thanks.